So then after this uh, cross item relationship, I just leave, keep it yes. Uh, customer item cross reference I was talking about. This is where you define. So I'll just show you quickly. So let's say customer name is business world and they call a customer a product uh, business world bw123 this is the customer product code uh, this this is a lookup we can create the some lookup here so I'll, let's if I use them finish goods and uh, on the right hand I can open this so I just put the customer name and the customer item and it's allowing me to put the customer product as well so I'll put let's say business world item one two three. Suppose this is the product that they say, and this is their code. So you put those code, both are free field, and then you open the cross reference window and add your product, which in this case for us it's a. Uh, oh, we created the B Samsung Galaxy S four. And you put the rank so multiple um, we can have multiple product which is meeting the customer and product requirement and I can put a hierarchy as well so by default uh, this is what will be picked up it's a rank one item but in case I want to make choice to select the rank two also then I should have a place to store so both the things both the products can meet the customer and product requirement Generally, you don't uh, have those, so that you may disable this for now. So let one be active at this point. So now you see, if you read this form, so you have a customer item code BW123 mapped with a specific customer business world with account number 1608. BW123 has a description, which is a free field, so we captured that. And we map this to our own items. If there is a multiple item, then you can provide the rank 1 and rank 2 and activate that line. So this is your internal item code and this is the customer item code. With this setup, you can take a sales order with this code BW123. And during the picking and shipping from the warehouse, system will depict uh, this item code. But all the paperwork, uh, your shipping documents that goes to the customer, you can print BW123. So customer will know, never know what's your internal item code and in the reports also he will see his product itself. Barcoding is required then you can barcode BW123 as well. So this is the customer specific uh, customer item cross reference.